Good morning, entrepreneurs. My name is Leah Siancy, and I'm a representative from the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Along with me, I have a group of expert panelists. First, we have Alan Chapa, who is a corporate lawyer. Next to him is Jacqueline Rojas, who is an entrepreneur and actually came up with the idea for the phone watch. Next to her is Omar Hamid, and he is a business consultant. And last, we have Dasha Aponte, who is a marketing executive for MyRate. The goal of our panel today is to help you as entrepreneurs decide if you want to put a patent on your products and ideas. So before we get started, I'm going to lay a few ground rules. First, I'm going to be asking each panelist a set of three questions. They will each only have a minute to answer the questions. And at the end of the panel, we will be having a Q&A segment. So I would like to ask all audience members to hold all your questions till the end. So now that that's settled, let's go ahead and get started with our first question. Alan, what is your position and why do you think people should or should not patent? Thank you, Leah. As Leah mentioned, my name is Alan Chapa, and I am against the idea of patents. I do not agree anyone should patent, and I believe that because there are many reasons. I'm going to focus on two only today because of time matters, but I believe that cost is really high to get a patent. It can really affect you, and also I'm going to talk about the liability how you can be facing lawsuits and not only affect your personality as a person that did something against the law, but also affect your company and probably go bankruptcy because of that. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline, I'm gonna ask you the same question. What is your position and why do you think people should or should not patent? Thank you. Um, as Leah mentioned before, my name is Jacqueline Rojas and I'm definitely for patenting, specifically patenting ideas. Currently, only new inventions and products are able to be patented, so I feel that it would be important for ideas to be allowed to be patented. Um, ideas are the start of everything. Without an idea, you don't have a product. So entrepreneurs who currently have ideas have to be cautious about who they tell their ideas to because they run the risk of it being stolen. So by having their ideas able to be patented, it would be protected and it allows them to share their ideas. Omar, what is your position and why do you think people should or should not patent? Thank you. Uh, my name is Omar Ahmed. Um, I'm against the, idea, the implementation of the idea of patent because the most important thing about patenting an idea is to implement this idea and to know what method that you are using and to know how the opportunities and threat that could uh, come along you know, with uh, those ideas that you have. Another thing is, the, is that the risk of the idea that, um, that it might, you know, uh, come along in the future, uh, which is about, you know, it consume a lot of money and time. And uh, another thing is about the technology, which is most of uh, the industry that have to keep up with, uh, with the technology. And, uh, and I guess uh, the most important thing Thank you, Omar. Next is for Dasha. What is your position and why do you think people should or should not patent? Hi, everyone. As Leah stated, my name is Dasha Blonde and I am for patenting. I would like to encourage people to do patents, mainly because they force others to innovate and they also serve to market yourself while they increase the, the quality and the credibility of your product. Patents are intended to better society in the long run simply because they motivate others to be innovative and they also encourage people to keep coming up with new ideas. Um, so that's why I believe you should patent. Thank you, Dasha. Next question is back to Alan. How much does it cost to own a patent? So as I already mentioned, uh, patents are not cheap. I'm going to talk about how much it costs for a small business to get a patent. First, you need to go for an application fee, which costs $500. After that, you need to get an issue fee, which is $700. After that, a patent must be maintained. It's a maintenance fee that you have to pay on the fourth, eighth, and twelfth month of the first year. On the fourth month, you need to pay $450. 
on the eighth month, $1,150, and by the twelfth month, $1,900, just to keep the pattern going. If you think about it, a product on the first year most likely will not make a lot of profits. Just having a pattern is gonna be making you lose money just to get a pattern. I think that it's just too much cost to have a pattern without a product having a profit yet. It's just too risky. Okay, thanks, Alan. Jacqueline, what are options that people who currently only have an idea can do to protect that idea? Inventors and entrepreneurs who currently have only an idea, um, they're, basically their options are to not tell anybody about their idea and to work towards executing it to produce the product. But as Milton Zlotnick mentioned in How to Protect Your Business Idea, if you do choose to tell someone about your idea, you must write everything down that you say. So that includes writing down what you say, what the other person says, and any kind of agreement that you come to, just in case you might need to use it in court later. Um, it's another reason why I am for patenting, because being able to share your idea would allow you to have more resources so that way you can you can be helped to produce your product. Okay. Omar, which is better, patents or the implementation of the idea? I think it's easy to get an idea, but uh, you know, to uh, to process this idea, you need to you need to have more information, and uh, the idea could you know fail in two cases. Where, uh, one if if it's derived. Project. The other thing is that if uh, if you miss a step, you know, to accomplish something, and uh, it doesn't matter how small is the business, as long as, uh, as there is a benefit of it. And uh, for example, there is an airline group which is established in the UK uh, by a guy his name Michael Zubovich and Roman Lakovic, uh, which uh, both entrepreneurs have an uh, idea to. Uh, Set a set idea for uh, factories, uh, like you know, to invest like hundred people in uh, hundred people uh, to buy you know one machine. Thank you, Omar. Factory. Dasha, is there a way to know if you're ready to patent, and if so, how? Okay, there certainly is a way to know if you're ready or not to patent. First of all, you need to start out by asking yourself if you're completely finished with your invention. Uh, you need to know if it does what it's supposed to do, if it, you have a working prototype, and have you really tested your invention. According to Sarah Pierce, inventions must be completely finished before applying for a patent, mainly because they, uh, when you apply for a patent, you have to make sure it leaves, because if something goes wrong or if you need to make a change, you have to get a whole new different patent. And when applying for your patent, you need to include all these claims with detailed drawings and much more. Thank you. Okay, back to you, Alan. What is the liability when owning a patent? So again, I'm going to talk about a small business. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, when you get a patent, uh, your competitor may try to invalidate it. That's the first thing that happens. As an owner of a patent, you have a responsibility to fight against it. If you want to keep your patent, you need to fight against your competitors to not invalidate your patent. By doing that, uh, once to protect yourself and to fight against other competitors, you need to pay more. So not only did you pay to have the patent, now you're paying to defend it. Not only that, also, you will also have to be facing a possible unlawful monopoly. If you receive the patent by the Office of the United States of Trademark and Patents, if it results to be unlawful, which it might happen, you're also facing uh, as, um, a lawsuit that can take a small company to bankruptcy because it's just a lot of money that you have to pay. And to be honest, it's just, again, too risky, and that's why I believe that patents should not be done. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline? What are the steps for turning an idea into a product? The first step to turning an idea into a product is to document it, which includes writing down what your product is, how it works, and how you want to market it. The next step is to research it from both the legal and the business standpoint. 
The third thing you need to do is to make a prototype, which is basically just a model that puts into practice everything you've written down about your product. The fourth thing is to file a patent, which involves you going to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office and discussing business fees and how you want to market it. The fifth thing is to actually find out how you want to market your product, whether you want to sell it or you want to license it to another business so they can sell it for you. It really isn't that difficult for you to patent your product, which is why I'm for patenting. Omar, what risks come along with owning a patent? Well, each innovator invests in research, development, and commercialization come with the company in high risk of uh, in high risk of uh, patenting someone's ideas. Uh, for example, we have Samsung and Apple. Samsung uh, have lost a uh, suitcase against uh, Apple because of uh, because of uh, copy uh, copy patenting uh, the 3D service, and uh, that cost the company a lot of billion dollars. And on the other hand, Apple violated the Samsung products, but however, the, uh, the decision was stopped because uh, it will uh, hurt the U.S. economy for that. And uh, I think uh, you know the risk that come along could uh, could be could be taken if uh, if it's uh, possibly you know uh, if it's. Uh, Thank you, Omar. And the last question is going to go to Dasha. What are the benefits that owning a patent can provide to a company? The benefits that a company can get from a patent are very high because patents um, prevent others from making, using, or selling your product. And not only that, but they are mainly considered to be an asset, and they're one of the few assets that increase in value over time. And not only that, but they also increase the value of your business. So it leads you to financially benefiting from a patent by uh, one, licensing it, and getting a percentage of the sales from other companies. And well, two, you may be the only manufacturer in the industry which allows you to set any price you want because you're not being compared to any other. And a patent is also needed to protect you from other individuals who could benefit you, from your ideas. So to conclude, I would like to sum up what each panelist talked about. First, we had Alan who told us a little bit about the cost and the liability when owning a patent. Next, Jacqueline told us about what options people have who currently only have an idea. Omar told us a little bit about what risks come along when owning a patent. And Dasha finished up by telling us about the benefits that a patent can provide to a company. So I'd like to thank all the panelists for coming out and giving us this great information. And I'd also like to thank all of y'all for being a great audience. So at this time, I would like to open up the floor for any questions. Directed for Jacqueline. How do you know if an idea is patentable? Jacqueline, the question is, how do you know if an idea is patentable? Um, well, the product has to be new or have some kind of novelty to it. It can't be the same as any product that's out in the market right now, or at, or at least be too similar. It also has to be useful. It's got to have some kind of purpose that'll make um, someone want to buy it. And it also has to work. It has to do what you say it is going to do. Okay, great. Any other ones? Uh, yes. This one is directed for Alan. Uh, can you give an example for lawsuit involving patents? Alan, would you give an example of a lawsuit involving patents? Yes. <coughs> there was, as uh, Omar mentioned already, a uh, Samsung and Apple lawsuit where both companies, uh, they gave a suit to each other. Uh, Apple argued that Samsung was using their own ideas when developing their cell phone, the Samsung Galaxy S4, and also the tablets. They said that the design was too similar from the iPad and the iPod, and there was a lot of argument about how much it was actually a copy or if it was their own inventions. I mean, there are different people who may argue that it was. There's people who argue that they not. It's just really complex. It comes down to, to a lot to decide if it was or not. 
My question direct to Dasha. What's an example of a company that has uh, benefited from owning money? Okay, Dasha, the question is, what is an example of a company that has benefited from owning patents? Um, I believe that there are many companies that have benefited from patents, um, especially MyRate company, which has benefited by um, adapting a new gene, and they patented so they're the only company that can get rid of that gene. For example, um, Angelina Jolie recently, she got detected that she had a cancerogenous gene that could lead to breast cancer. So MyRig was the only company that could help her. And this allowed MyRig to dramatically increase their prices. So that's one way that it benefits. Any other questions? Yes. I'm pressing Dolma. What is the importance of general property? Um, Mark, the question is, what is the importance of general property? of general property that is help you know the economic to growth but that's help only like you know first nation country not developed countries like you know uh, we have uh, this case in uh, India which uh, you know the, uh, they said uh, they supply drugs to uh, the third nation like Thailand and all the neighbors which is uh, you know could increase you know the risk of the, uh, the product that they you know they uh, move it uh, places. Okay, thank you. That is all the time we have for today. So I'd like to thank everyone for coming out and hope that we can help make your decision on patenting a little easier.